any amendment to any bill at the National Assembly. Uh, the Institute is always called upon and uh, for our contribution, for our comments. You know, these are the ways we ensure that uh, the taxpayers are well protected. And from time to time, when we receive comments, issues, and we receive, you know, uh, probably some kind of information from any of, uh, from any of the taxpayers, it is our responsibility to make a declaration, comment on it, to ensure that the attention of the government is called to that from time to time. These are various ways we ensure that taxpayers are being protected from time to time. Okay. Um, Mr. Aziz, you are the uh, Dean of um, the Faculty of um, Taxation with the Institute. Uh, I would like to direct this question to you. The tax administrators are your direct members. That's the right. The Federal Inland Revenue and all the state's revenue bonds. They are all your direct members. As an institute, um, how do you address this group of you rather this group of your members uh, in terms of um, of um, you know the, in terms of multi, in the area of multiplicity of taxes and tax harmonization? Does the institute call them to order to say, you know, you are all our members and this is how things should be done in terms of you know harmonizing not different type of taxes that we have within the state and the federal. Yeah, uh, thanks uh, very much. Um, let me first uh, clarify the issue of uh, multiplicity of taxes, um, that it was not actually caused directly by our members, but by the law itself, because um, it's the law that defines what our members collect, whether federal, states, and local government. And I want to take you to Taxes and Levies uh, Act um, of 2004, you know, and that was in 1998 when um, it was promulgated. It listed eight taxes to be collected by the federal government, okay. 11 taxes to be collected by the state government, and 20 taxes to be collected by the local government. If you sum all that together, you get 39 taxes. Now, in 2015, all these taxes were supposed to have been reduced to about 25 you know, based on representation from the Manufacturers uh, Association of Nigeria when they protested that our members are collecting too much taxes from yes, them. Okay. You know, we said these things are in line with the law. So the law was to be reviewed. Incidentally, instead of reducing it to 25, it went to 55. Wow. And so additional 14 taxes were added to the state government alone. Wow. So from 11, you have 25. And then the local government uh, 21 taxes became uh, 20 taxes became 21. So I mean, our members who want to collect within the laws that are available to them, though mm -hmm. all those conflicts that people are finding are materially, okay. you know, operations of the law. And so the law itself needs to be amended. Okay. Yeah. Is there any way the institutes can advise their members? That's just. A, do you advise them that you know most of this law, or rather the the the, the because. Nigerian government do recognize the institution, That's and right. I, I believe they do listen to the institution as a That's body, right. of, uh, as a professional body. That's do they? Right. Do you guys advise? Do the institute advise the government and those enacting this law to say, okay, this number of taxes that we have right. is too much? Is there any yeah. way you can reduce them? Yes, the In institute the does. Of the taxpayers. That's right. The institute actually does that, you know, on a continuous basis and. Um, on the privilege of information, I, I happen to know right now that the Institute is looking at this challenge and of which our key members are there. The Federal Island Revenue Service is there. In fact, the Joint Tax Board Secretary himself is there at the Nigerian Taxation Standard Board level. And we are looking at all these taxes with a view to making recommendations to the government to reduce these taxes. But our members um, you know, are also trying to do the best in trying to see that it's not all those taxes on the list mm. that is being collected, okay. you know, even though, yes, the law empowers them to collect as much as uh, they do. Okay. Yeah. I would like to ask our Vice President, uh, was the Institute part of the committee set up by the federal government when uh, they were reviewing the national tax policy? Yeah, of course, um, the principal actors of the national policy review are members 
of the Sunday Institute. Yes, yes. Professor Sonny. Yes, sir. Tai Wu Yudili. DK. And others. They are principal partners. Yes. yes. Okay, and I, I, I also want to ask if the Vice President also consulted the Institute when he was coming up with this uh, uh, vague uh, tax amnesty declaration. In, in actual fact, <laughs> we have always said we have a listening governor, a government. Okay. Yes, because when the thing was thinning out, we felt the pressure starting from 1st of July to 31st of March was too short sure. for people to even grasp the meaning of this thing, exactly. to act, to put their accounts together, and then submit. So we have always said, please, can we just push it? Okay, so the institute was, for, uh, yeah, of course, yes. was part of those yes, we are part to of, yes. push the government to extend yes, it, yes, know, which yes. is a fantastic thing. I think everybody is keen into the uh, VAT scheme and then regularizing their accounts. I would like to go to Mr. Polawole. You are the publicity uh, uh, chairman, so I will always come to you when it comes to <laughs> anything that has to do with publicity. And that. I want to ask, what is the institute doing in terms of taxpayers' education? Because I know that in Nigeria, a lot of us are not educated when it comes to taxes. We, we, we really don't know anything much about taxes. Maybe it's because of the, 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 the vocabularies or the, or the, you know, the calculations that comes with. It's too technical for the common man to understand. So is there any way, has the institute been promoting tax education among yeah. taxpayers? In a lot of ways. And uh, it has always been a continuous uh, responsibility of the Institute. Uh, first and foremost, uh, through publications from time to time, we do shun out publications as an Institute to educate all the stakeholders, inclusive of the taxpayers now. And uh, through our DC societies, you know, there are several programs, such as Task Week, where yeah, there is uh, enlightenment campaigns, jingles, even on radios. Okay. All these are uh, means of ensuring that there is awareness. And uh, we do also advise uh, the state internal revenue, particularly, you know, in Lagos State, for instance, now, yes. you, you find out that the enlightenment, the campaign is on the eye side. Yes. All these are ideas that, that emanate that, that, from that, the that is for That's for Lagos State. Lagos. But in other states, you know, from the east to the north. Same thing. It's been done. We are replicating all these efforts in other states. Okay. Because presently, the Institute have over 34 DC societies wow. all over Nigeria. So there's wow. no area, there's no, there's no region that is not, not really over. feeling the impact of the okay. Institute. Okay. That's fantastic. I will say well done to the institute on that. And um, Mr. Mr. Aziz, I would like to ask you, as a dean of the faculty of taxation, I will always come to you when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to. I want to become a member of the Chartered Institute of Taxation. Yeah. How do I become a member? It's it's very simple and and straightforward. There are two routes that could be taken. Okay. The first one is to write the exam of the institute. I mean, with a secondary school, one could start writing the exams. Wow. You know, and there are four levels of it. So you write okay. a foundation P1, P2, and then uh, you do your induction. And Alan, then you become Alan, what a is member. the duration of uh, I'm a, I mean, if you pass the exam, the exams are around April, September. So twice in a year, wow. you can do two levels, and then you do the other one, okay. the other two levels the following year. So if give and take two, three years, then you can become a member. You know, if you are very committed, you know, to yes, do that, yes. that's one of the routes. Then the second route is what actually um, uh, Mrs. Simply uh, mentioned in terms of direct admission of uh, members. members. You know, um, chartered accountants, if you are a member of ICANN, member of ANAN, you are a member of NBA as a lawyer, yes. you know, you just pay a certain amount, a conversion amount in which you will be trained for a certain period of time. Do you admit you know, members so. outside these other professions? Um, well, unless we have some new people coming in, in which the council actually have the power to review the skills of that individual and be able to grant a direct admission.
to such individual if wow. the person proves that he has uh, the required skills and then the professionalism. There are three major things that the person needs to have. The first one is the basic knowledge. The second one is the skills. Okay. And then the last one is the ethics, which is professionalism. So once the institute, the council of the institute, yes. evaluates such an individual and finds out that he's qualified, yes. then he's going to be admitted. Really? So that yes. can be done on one-on-one basis? Uh, 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 there is a committee for it. You know, we have a okay. student uh, affairs committee wow. that recommends okay. to the institute, I mean, the okay. council. Okay. Uh, there is a procedure for it. The okay. person will file an application, oh. you know, that is going to be referred to the appropriate um, arm of the council, I mean, the institute. Okay. And so they are going to make a recommendation to the council, and then the council will uh, review it. So when we say the council, you know, there are different arms yes. that the council will use to do the work. Okay. to make sure that, look, okay. based on the recommendation, that this person is qualified and then the... Uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. So yeah. um, so, uh, uh, some of us do have hope of becoming a member in the future. Okay. Our, social media we'll look forward to <laughs> our social media handles are buzzing with a lot of questions and comments from our listeners. Uh, uh, you can join us, uh, uh, you can join the conversation uh, with the hashtag Tax101 on Twitter and uh, with the hashtag Tax101 on Instagram as well. On Instagram and Twitter, our handle is at NGTax101. Uh, we're we'll going on a short break and we'll be right back. A short break. Yeah. <laughs>